When it comes to the island, staying hidden is key to survival, so we proudly present Top 10 Rat Holes on the Island. Coming at number 10, this can be found at 25.6 latitude and 21.5 longitude, and then here it is on the map. Now before we start, I just want to clarify this up. The coordinates that you guys are seeing on screen now are going to be slightly off because Ark has a bug right now. So just kind of keep in mind of just where this spot is and kind of just, just look around in the main area or just check it out on the map and go to that exact spot that you see on the map. Just know that the coordinates are slightly off. Anyways, here is number 10. It's a nice little small rat hole. A little bit awkward to build in, but it is great for a solo player who's looking to kind of just stay more hidden away from everybody and not have to deal with the, with the uh, toxicity of people, if that makes sense. Now, the downside of this, of this uh, spot is that it is a super cold spot, so living here is definitely going to suck. And coming at number 9, this can be found at 32.0 latitude and 87.8 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now, this location is definitely an awkward one to build in. However, it does make for a pretty decent base if you are looking to stay more hidden. So this spot is a little bit awkward. As you can see, it's in the water. So it's definitely going to be a partially underwater, partially out of water base. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to build in for sure. I'll say that. However, you can slam a vacuum compartment down here in the, in the back and actually little, you can live in here. Put a couple heavies. It's a nice little temporary base location and you have a decent amount of room in here. So overall, it does make for a pretty good location, and you even have this nice little uh, like air bubble up here as well. So if you're looking to kind of stay a little bit more hidden, but kind of more of like a temporary base that not, not a lot of people really know about, this is definitely a good one for you. And coming at number 8, this can be found at 61.3 latitude and 91.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this location is actually a pretty decent one. Again, it's another great one for a solo or a duo looking to kind of stay more hidden. But this is a really good underwater spot for a just smaller tribe. So as you can see over here, there's a very, very tiny entrance, which means not a lot of people are even going to see it in the first place. Like you, you really can't really even see the rat hole even when you're right here. It doesn't even look like it's that big. However, whenever you turn this nice little corner right here, it opens up into this nice, decently sized room. Now, yes, it's not the biggest, but you can still fit a lot of stuff in here, including some maybe some dinos if you can get them in here. But there's a decent amount of room up in here. It does make for a pretty good location. The only downside is there is a second opening up top up here that you have to figure out how to defend. If you can figure out how to block that off, this will really make for a really good spot to live in. And coming in at number 7, this can be found at 53.0 latitude and 71.7 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this location is actually a really good one, again for a smaller tribe like a solo or duo i promise you this entire list is not just ones for solos or duos there are some pretty big rat holes in here but we will get to those here in a second this location is a little bit tricky to find that's why i'm kind of showing you guys where it is it's pretty close to that obelisk however finding this location is definitely very very tricky because it's literally in the middle of nowhere now as you can see there's this nice little kind of cave entrance with some ruins right next to it well actually if you look up in the top left hand corner you'll see a tiny little opening and that is our rat hole now this location opens up into a decently sized spot. You will need some grappling hooks to get in here. It's a little bit tricky. It looks like a big entrance. It's really not. It's actually pretty tight and um, it kind of blocks you off on part of it. So you have to use a grapple to get in. However, once you're in, you have a decent amount of room. You can easily put some uh, some like foundations down, some forges, maybe even some, uh, maybe a dino. I don't really know if you could fit a couple dinos in here or not. But if you're looking to really stay hidden, this is a great one for you to do a uh, build in for sure. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the next one. Coming at number 6, this can be found at 83.6 latitude and 57.1 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this location would have been a really, really good spot if it was located in a different area. Also, there's one more downside of, of this location. You have to use benches and chairs to, to get into it. So I'm sure Ark's going to patch the, this spot up. So it's kind of a little heads up. If you're looking at this, just know that this spot might be patched. If it's not, look at the size of this thing. This is like perfect. Everything in here is just flawless. Completely flat. Tons of room. You can easily fit a, a uh, indie forge. You know, some forges, fabricators, all that in here perfectly. The only downside is, is its location. The location does kind of suck. The entrance being right on the ground means that 
people can basically walk up and just throw some uh, like cluster grenades in and then you're just done that's the only downside with this spot but it is a really really good location if you can figure out how to defend it now getting in and out of this spot is going to really suck having to constantly do it over and over and over so just know that but otherwise it does make for a really really good spot this video is sponsored by mitra 9 Mitra 9 is a kava and kratom seltzer company that quite literally makes you feel good. My favorite flavor is tropical. Now, kava and kratom give you a similar effect to alcohol, just without the impairment. It's more similar to a high. Mitra 9 has really helped me get through long, stressful days. Use my code OUTCAST for 20% off at mitra9.com. Must be 18 or 21 in some states. Coming at number 5, this can be found at 20.0 latitude and 52.6 longitude, and then here it is on the map. Now this location is definitely a little bit of a different one. So this one is in the snow, kind of like some of the other ones on our list, however this one is very different. It is still nice and compact, so building in here is going to be a little bit of a struggle, you're not going to be able to fit a couple things in here like some Andy Forges unless you can figure out how to clip it just right in the terrain because it is possible. However. This spot is a bit awkward, so instead of most rat holes like going like up or in a wall, you're, you're actually going down. So with you going down, it, do, it does make defending it a little bit tricky. However, it is a very, very long hallway. So once you come down here, getting in and out of this place is just going to suck. I'm just going to make that clear right now. It's the only way in and out is really with a PT or with some grapples. So it's going to be a little bit tricky, but if you can figure out how to defend this spot, it can make for a really good spot. So lots of spam turrets will definitely be your best friend right here. Now, once you're down here, it leads back into this little area and then down a tiny bit more. Not too much down here though. So you can build a nice little compact base if you are a solo or a small tribe. It does make for a really, really good location. And coming at number 4, this can be found at 46.4 latitude and 74.6 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this location is a super, super hidden one. Like, as you can see, I'm looking straight at it right now. You cannot see it at all because of how many of these just little, like, roots or whatever you want to call these things are. So that really does help block this spot off super, super well. Another downside, well, actually a good side for you, downside for somebody who's trying to raid you, is that you are high up in the, in the uh, ceiling. It's going to be a little bit tricky to, to defend this. There's not a ton of room in here. But, you put a lot of spam turrets on those walls, I guarantee you people are going to struggle to get in here for sure. This spot up here is very, very wonky. There, I mean, it's just it's like platforms and random things just all over the place. So if you're looking for a location that's a little bit more difficult to raid, but with less room, I guess you want to call it, this is definitely a good one for you. Now up here, you do still have a decent amount of room. I mean, you, you can fit a good amount of stuff in here. But it's going to be tight and very awkward to definitely work with. So, just a little heads up. Going to be a tricky location, but you do have a lot of room to work with. So, it does make for a pretty decent base location. Coming at number 3, this can be found at 55.2 latitude and 75.3 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now, this location is a really, really good spot. If you are a little bit of a bigger tribe, still a smaller tribe, but... A little bit of a bigger tribe looking to really stay hidden, this is a really good one for you. You are super high up in the ceiling, so it's going to be a very difficult raid for anybody that's trying to actually get in there. So as you can see, you have a super tiny entrance right here, which is really good, and it actually spans back up into the left of this little rat hole. So you have a nice little platform right here, not a ton of room, but still a pretty nice amount of room to work with. It's going to be a little bit tighter in here. But you do have, I mean, if you want to call it flat, it is kind of flattish of room to work with. It kind of angles down a little bit, so you're going to run into some uh, foundation issues. You're going to have to build up a little bit. But overall, it does make for a pretty good rat hole and a really good spot that not a lot of people are going to really mess with. Coming at number two, this can be found at 65.4 latitude and 48.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now, this location is my personal favorite spot. This is basically one of the best locations for an on-land rat hole, which we will get to the underwater rat holes. That'll be one of the next videos that come out. And I must say, there are some insane underwater rat holes. Just a little teaser for that. Just a little teaser. But yeah, anyways, here's this spot. It's right here on the side of this cliff. You literally cannot see it, even with me being right here. It is almost invisible, especially with the floating rock glitch that Ark somehow still hasn't fixed from their last game. But who knows? Who knows? 
<laughs> Anyways, coming in here, it might look like a real, you know, a, a nice little stupid rat hole, you know, a little bit big, you know, it can fit a couple foundations, couple forges, you know, a fabricator and all that. But no, wait until you get into this main room. So as you can see, when you go down into here, it opens up into this massive room. This room is absolutely enormous. Whenever cliff platforms come out, it's going to be a really good location to work with. So you have a lot of room in here. It's a little bit awkward. You have to build multiple floors in here, but it does make for a really good base location. You have a lot of room. It even spans back into here a little bit farther too, which is super good to work with. You can fit some dinos, do a, some uh, dino breeding possibly. It's going to be a little bit hard, but you can still do it. And yeah, it does make for a really good rat hole. I'm just afraid that this one might end up getting patched because it's going to be a very overpowered spot. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Let's move on to number one. And finally, coming at number one, this can be found at 92.5 latitude and 71.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this location is absolutely insane. This is one of the many underwater rat, uh, rat holes that we are going to get into. So this is just kind of a little teaser of what's gonna be in the next video. So, yeah, as you can see with this entrance, you have to use a vacuum compartment and some benches to, to get in here. You can try it with some grapples. It can work, but it's def it's going to take you a lot of tries, I'll just say that. So your best option is some, just some benches or some chairs to get in, which I can show in a future video. I don't show in here, though. But this location is absolutely enormous. So as you can see, it doesn't look that big, but once you kind of come back around here and turn through this corner, it opens up into this just insane rat hole. So here is the first room. Decent amount of room, you can build a nice turret wall right there and block that entire area off and no one's getting in, I guarantee it. Anyways, over here, this is your main room. It is absolutely enormous. Tons of rooms to work with, it's all super flat. You can build a massive base in here, put a nice little teleporter in here, and nobody's getting in. Simple as that. You can even vault drop your entire entrance wall. You can't really vault drop now, but you can put vaults on it, and it's going to keep a ton of people out. Not to mention, it's in the bottom, like super far bottom uh, side of the map, so no one's even going to find it in the first place. But yeah, that was it for our top 10 rat holes. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new, and hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.